Good morning, my name is Jerry Tucker and I'm a student with Liberty University's online Master of uh, Public Health program. And I'm here today to provide an oral summation of my practicum project experience. For my culmination project, I worked with the Chesapeake Health District in Chesapeake, Virginia. Uh, this health district serves as the uh, population and public health arm for the city of Chesapeake and is comprised of uh, four divisions, which include administration, health services, environmental health, and population health. The purpose of my practicum project focused on reducing the potential for hepatitis A outbreaks uh, within the homeless population of uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. Um, hepatitis A is a contagious viral disease that results in severe liver inflammation, and common signs and symptoms include flu-like symptoms, nausea, abdominal pain, fever, and exhaustion, and in more severe cases, um, jaundice or yellowing of the skin and eyes may occur. Um, recently, hepatitis A has garnered increased attention with the media with multiple states claiming outbreaks, which uh, highlights the importance of this project. Uh, just in Virginia alone from 2011 to 2015, an average of uh, 38 cases were reported with a correlation observed in vulnerable populations. That included the homeless community, uh, recently incarcerated uh, individuals, um, IV and non-injection drug users, and also men who engage romantically with other men. Typically, hepatitis A is, um, is commonly uh, spread via contaminated food or water, or it can be spread from uh, person to person via fecal oral route. On to the next slide. For my project design, I wanted to develop a model to reduce the potential spread of hepatitis A within the uh, homeless community within this South Norfolk region of Chesapeake, Virginia, with a target goal of reaching 85% or 200 individuals within that population. I mustered a team of uh, subject matter experts from various fields and backgrounds within the uh, health district as well as the city of Chesapeake itself. Um, with the uh, homeless community in South Norfolk being identified as high risk. I decided to uh, focus only on this area of the city, uh, secondary to uh, time constraints uh, regarding this project. Um, on to the next slide. Uh, the project itself identified, uh, identified two overarching goals, which included uh, increasing awareness and uh, education uh, for the homeless community within the South Norfolk region of Chesapeake, Virginia, and establishing a mass vaccination program for the homeless community there as well. Additionally, three process objectives were identified to support these goals, and these included collaborating with both the district epidemiologists and the city health educators to develop a curriculum to raise awareness and understanding regarding the risks of hepatitis A. This curriculum was based on a multitude of literature reviews, most notably from the CDC. I also worked in concert with the uh, district public relations specialists to produce 200 brochures for the delivery to this target population and leveraged multiple media platforms such as uh, Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram. I also utilized the uh, Chesapeake Health District website and we engaged local news and radio as well. Now a significant component for achieving these goals and objectives for this project was first to obtain access to the target population. And this entailed engagement with the City of Chesapeake Department of Human Services and the uh, South Norfolk Homeless Shelter. Within the City of Chesapeake, these two organizations enjoyed the greatest amount of time spent working with the homeless community and were excellent partners in giving me unrestricted access. The educational campaign was delivered by multiple platforms. This included delivery of pre and post tests um, to the community to determine if the curriculum that we administered actually made a difference. Additionally, educational presentations were also delivered by face-to-face -face lecture with PowerPoint slides, brochures, handouts, and then we also gave out various swag to the individuals such as stress balls and keychains that promoted hand washing as well as small bottles of uh, hand sanitizer. The mass vaccination uh, campaign entailed implementing a points of dispensing or a, a pod framework uh, this framework utilized the incident command system model and provided key components uh, that, were, that were very successful, such as having a standardized um, command and control uh, infrastructure. Um, these, these components um, consisted of having an incident commander and then four uh, standardized departments. We had an operations department, 
uh, a planning department, logistics, and also finance and administration. On to the next slide. So with regard to practicum project highlights and accomplishments, I was able to put together and lead a task force with the collective intent on reducing the potential for hepatitis A outbreak within the city of Chesapeake. Uh, for the Chesapeake Health District, this team consisted of the health director, the epidemiologist, the communicable disease nurse, nurse manager, clinic supervisor, immunizations nurse, and the public relations specialist. For the city itself, uh, their participation included their senior emergency planner, the homeless shelter director, community services director, as well as a director of public libraries. Additionally, I developed a model for mass vaccination for South Norfolk uh, that may be used for future populations. I was able to work in concert with the district epidemiologist and the public relations specialist to develop multiple platforms of media to bolster education and raise awareness. This included the development of print media and the utilization of health district websites and various social media platforms. Our health education um, model was highly successful and reflected an increase in test scores between pre and post test administration. Uh, the increase that I observed displayed a 95% increase in knowledge. Also a major accomplishment was the collaboration of so many different subject matter experts and multiple organizational facets. Not only was awareness raised within the South Norfolk homeless community, but the city government as well. And I think this will pave the way for future collaborative projects to tackle public health concerns within the city of Chesapeake in the future. Now, I would like to mention that I did not re reach my target goal of 85%, and I think that was in large uh, due to the, the, uh, the weather conditions here. During the time of this, uh, this project, um, it was unseasonably warm, so uh, participation within the homeless shelter was uh, diminished somewhat. So um, on to the next slide. So recommendations for future projects of this caliber, uh, I would definitely include consideration for the weather and outside temperatures. I think I would have been better suited to reach the 85% uh, goal had I done this during the colder months, um, but I do uh, chalk that up as a lesson learned. On to the next slide. Regarding takeaways from this practicum project, um, I did find that close collaboration with multiple subject matter experts and access to public health resources to be very beneficial and made for a really positive experience. Uh, this experience has certainly shown me that the success of public health initiatives are driven by a multifaceted and multi-organizational approach. And I would like to continue initiatives such as these in the future and repeat this project periodically, as I think it would greatly benefit the homeless communities within Chesapeake. Lastly, I would like to thank the Chesapeake Health District, Liberty University, and Dr. Kenneth Christopher for the opportunity to participate in this project. My experience was uh, very enriching and I was, I was able to build professional partnerships uh, that will continue in the future. Thank you again and God bless.